Hello everyone, welcome to our business management program of Edinburgh Business School, Heriwat University. My name is Dr. Yen Chen and I'm Associate Professor in Innovation, Strategy and Entrepreneurship. I have been with Heriwat University for the last 10 years teaching international entrepreneurship, uh, innovation management and change management in organization. Before coming to Edinburgh, I was at Copenhagen Business School in Denmark and Stanford University in the US. Before that, I did my MBA and uh, Master of Science uh, at Ohio State University, uh, Fisher College of Business in the US and Asian Institute of Technology. Now, being uh, with uh, many universities uh, in the world, I'm actually really proud to say that um, Edinburgh Business School provides a very high quality of uh, international business management program at a very a uh, great international standard. So in the presentation today, I'm going to introduce you about our program, what do we have to offer, how our degree structure look like, what kind of options um, you can have to build your pathway if you want to specialize your degree, what kind of opportunity you have with us uh, in terms of going abroad uh, or going to other campuses to study, uh, what kind of uh, supporting system we provide, uh, what's your career perspective? Um, and I think importantly, you would like to know why you should study with us and what we're standing out for. Um, we uh, also introduce you a couple of examples of students who have been here with us and uh, have been quite successful after the graduation. Hello, everyone. Welcome to International Business Management Program of Edinburgh Business School, Heriwat University. My name is Dr. Yen Chen and I'm Associate Professor in Innovation, Strategy and Entrepreneurship. I have been with Heriwat University for the last 10 years, teaching international entrepreneurship, uh, innovation management and change management in organization. Before coming to Edinburgh, I was at Copenhagen Business School in Denmark and Stanford University in Palo Alto uh, in the US. Before that, I did my MBA and Master of Science uh, at Ohio State University, Fisher College of Business and Asian Institute of Technology in Thailand, Bangkok. So have been with many international universities in the world. I'm actually really proud to say that uh, Edinburgh Business School at Heriwat University provide a uh, very high and international standard of uh, business management education. So I'm going to introduce you to our degree structures, uh, different options which you can build your pathway, whatever specialization you uh, choose, uh, what kind of opportunity you have here, um, what is the, our supporting system to help you with, uh, with learning and your career perspective. And I think importantly, I'm going to tell you uh, why you should study with us and what we stand out for. Um, at the very end, I will give you an example of a student who have been here and have been quite successful after her graduation. So Edinburgh Business School is actually our Scotland largest business school. Uh, we are very proud that uh, our alumni is actually including quite many successful and well-established industrial people. We have a three full say 100 CEOs and several prime ministers already so came here to study with us through our executive education and many successful startup. Uh, international is really truly to our core uh, with a huge campus with students coming from 100 and uh, 58 different countries, over 14,000 students uh, in over 100 countries um, through our articulation programs and exchange program uh, and across three campuses uh, in Malay, uh, Malaysia and Dubai. We also nurture our own uh, business uh, incubator where we um, uh, develop uh, so far 19 startups companies on campus. So in normal circumstances, I would love to welcome you to our beautiful campus in Ricarton. Um, we are very, very proud to have very large campus, everything in one place. Um, we have a huge uh, Orion Sports Center here at the corner, you can see. Uh, there's a lot of greens and uh, trees and lake. And on a beautiful sunny day, you can actually going out 
to, um, uh, you know, to uh, study or to have a chat or to relax uh, in, in, between, uh, in between the lectures. Um, we have four schools which actually belong to the university. So we have um, energy, geoscience, infrastructure and society. We have engineer and physical sciences, math, computer science, and we have school of social science, which is now actually Edinburgh Business School uh, is merged into. Um, so the advantage of having all uh, diversity or different kind of school is that when you actually uh, want to take elective courses, you can also go to other university, uh, other schools to, to do that. For example, if you are running a business related to maybe chemistry or um, computer science, you can actually go to, uh, to these two schools and, and take that courses. So uh, what do we have to offer you? Uh, you go to the university, not only that you learn the functional knowledge or the functional skill to perform your job later on, uh, but you also learn to understand at a deeper level how things happen and why, and be able to employ that understanding in your future endeavor. So you would learn uh, business structure, the strategy, the process, the different business functions of marketing, operation management, human resource, and so on. But you also develop a valuable transferable skills, which you can go on and apply in the real world. For example, communication, problem solving, teamwork skill, as well as creativity, confidence, and research abilities. Uh, you can also go on to uh, do further study rather than actually go to the industry. So we really prepare you to be resilient and ready for any changes in the world. And that will fulfill our mission to create tomorrow's leaders for tomorrow's market. So now I'm going to go into detail about our degree structure of the MIE International Business Management or IB. So from, from our national student survey, we're actually really proud that our MIE International Business Management always receive the 100% satisfaction from the student. And this is really encouraging result. So now I'm going to tell you about the particular degree structure in each year. So in the first year, when you first arrive to the university, uh, you will have an opportunity to learn all the very fundamental uh, knowledge of how business function, um, really crash course or concept uh, of, the, of the business. Uh, for example, you have all the compulsory in blue boxes here, which is called core classes. Uh, or call class, discovering business or marketing, uh, becoming professional uh, academic skill, global management, accounting, finance, or e economics. So the basic courses in terms of business function, okay, and also the basic courses for your skills of uh, uh, to help you to learn uh, along the uh, along the program. So the orange box here is your choice, and the choice here uh, are the elective that you can actually choose the courses which you like, and that can even come from uh, from other school like I mentioned previously. So how does a week at university look like? Um, usually in the first year, you will have uh, a combination between lecture, seminar, tutorial, and lectures usually uh, will be two hours, and you would probably have four lecture a week, it means that you're going to have eight hours per week for lectures, where you will go to a big class, uh, gather together and study uh, the theories and um, the fundamental knowledge. And then uh, in, the, uh, in the tutorials or seminar section, you have opportunity to go into depth or more at applicable level of the knowledge. For example, in the morning or in the lecture, you would study about, uh, let's say, 4P of marketing. And then in the, in the tutorial, that one will be picked up and be explained uh, in, in the real world. And the seminar is usually uh, when you actually go into a particular topics and you probably have a chance to interact and to present your uh, leader projects as well. Uh, one of the things we're actually really, really proud of at uh, Hayward University is that we provide the very hands-on personal tutor meetings to students. So all the faculty will be assigned about 20 to 25 tutees, and you will have opportunities to meet your tutor 
uh, and receive your advice or guidance and sometimes just simple uh, friendly interaction uh, usually at the beginning when you start the study and then usually before your exams or maybe after you got your exam result or your coursework result you want to discuss about how you have performed on how to improve your uh, performance uh, even when you have any issue in daily life what happened at your um, at your residence for example with your family if you actually have intention to move university to enroll to different uh, courses uh, so on so everything you actually can um, talk to your personal tutors. In a week, you also have a library power hours where you can come and do your study. And that is actually really important. And at the corner here, you have a different uh, subject you can take in the year one. So moving to the second year, you continue to have a core courses um, to build your knowledge in, uh, of, in, in functional business, for example, uh, operation management, marketing fundamentals, or management theory and practice, human resource management, uh, and so on. And this is actually core courses. Now, those orange or yellow boxes here uh, are your options, which you can actually take to start building your pathway. So, for example, if you gonna go for a marketing pathway, then you might want to take a marketing perspective. Or if you want to go into HR, then you might want to take organization behavior uh, and so on. So this is uh, how the, uh, the second year. Now, in the third year, you will continue to build your um, optional or options for your pathway, but you can actually see that you actually have more option and you even have elective, uh, whereas the core courses are less now. So it means that uh, in this third year, you can actually take um, from the list here, for example, business venturing, if you want to go for entrepreneurial or enterprise path, um, or if you want to take law, then you can take employment law projects uh, and so on. So the orange, um, uh, boxes here represent uh, your pathway choice and you can also have elective as well uh, like I said before elective is something you can choose uh, beyond your school whereas option is within your school uh, usually in the third year uh, that is probably the last chance that you sh can change your pathway because you can actually see that you have already built up quite many uh, options now it is also very important to say that in the third year, if you decide from beginning, you can actually go uh, for a year abroad. And that means that um, you can go to another uh, partner university to an exchange um, for the whole year. And we have a long list of uh, options. And it's important to know that when you go a year abroad, you will have the um, uh, uh, the courses which are actually very compatible with what we have here at, uh, at the year three, if you could have stayed. So you can have different option here from Australia, US, in Europe and Scandinavian uh, and in Asia as well. So this is uh, a great opportunity for you to expand your um, your international profile, your experience, and uh, and to learn more about other cultures as well. So in the fourth year, that is uh, your last year of the of the program, where you still have uh, probably two kind of core courses, which is international business and global trend and ethics. That is quite represent for the uh, for the IB program. And then you build up your options again. The options really depends on what pathway you go for. So in the year four, that is actually the year when you usually don't change anymore um, your, uh, your, your pathway. Now, some of the students can actually go back to the generic if they don't want to uh, stick to a certain pathway. And that's probably possible. But changing to another pathway that might be difficult. Um, so the options um, here will be taken here from the list and you have a variety of options. Now in the year four, it is really important to know that that is when you start doing your dissertation. And dissertation is like a final project where you had an opportunity to apply it, uh, the knowledge you learn in different subjects or different, uh, different courses uh, to do that topic. 
and you can pick a topic uh, usually relevant to your pathway. Now for the enterprise pathway, instead of choosing a dissertation, you can also choose a business uh, projects. And uh, that is when you're trying to uh, plan a business plan um, and uh, um, get that one uh, also supervised uh, as, the, as a real uh, kind of final project. So this diagram will show you uh, the trade-off between being flexible and being specialized. So obviously, the more you go in the year two, year three, and year four, the less flexible you can have, okay, in terms of changing your pathway. So basically, like I said before, you can change your pathway by end of year two and sometime beginning of year three. So it means you, you do have an opportunity or some time to try out and to see if you actually like that pathway and to decide uh, which pathway you go for. And again, even in the year four, if you don't want that pathway anymore and you want to fall back to the generic, you can also do that as well. So one of the very important thing of our program is that not only that you are taught um, with uh, very frontier academic knowledge by our um, faculty or teacher who are researchers themselves who have done um, very relevant and updated uh, academic uh, research, but we also have very strong links with the industry to make the study relevant. And these industry links will help us to actually bring in guest speakers or um, a regular uh, presenter of the week and students can also visit the, uh, uh, the company as well. And a lot of cases uh, are integrated in the course um, and even coursework are usually given with the cases, for example. Um, this is the couple of the examples of our uh, industry partners. And uh, it is actually quite important that we make that uh, relevant. We also have, uh, for example, industrial uh, advisory board where we invite um, some of the leading industry um, people and they also come and share what is relevant in the market or in the industry so that we can actually adjust our, our teaching program. So um, after graduation, you will have a lot of uh, uh, possible career destination. So obviously, if you chose a certain pathway, you're going to work in that function. For example, if you choose go for marketing, you probably will work in the marketing function of the business or finance or operation management, human resource or psychology related work. You can also work for an agency where they deal with uh, economics, for example. So that means that you can work for the existing or established organization. Now, you can also work for a new de business development uh, department for existing organization. For example, if you uh, have a degree in international business and study international entrepreneurship or international business, you would actually know that what is a marketing strategy to enter another market. And that is usually required uh, for the function of uh, business development in, in a company. You can also involve in uh, some of the manage, management uh, kind of function at the, uh, at, the, at the organization, for example, strategic thinking or strategic manager or innovators, because through courses like a strategic management or innovation management, that's when you actually uh, learn uh, uh, all the more strategic issues, basically, of the organization. Now, if you don't want to work for a company, or if you don't want to have a job, basically, and you want to open your own business, then you can go for um, entrepreneur or enterprise pathway and become an entrepreneur uh, or founder of a new business. So you can have a more autonomy and uh, do uh, whatever business idea uh, you would like to do. Uh, or another option is that you can actually work for startup. Uh, in any business positions. Uh, obviously, startup is a small company, so then it will have give you uh, an opportunity to uh, perform different function. And that is a great um, way to learn the business. So fully aware that we have to prepare you to be relevant to the employment market. Uh, right from the year one, we actually provide a lot of professional development courses <clears throat> 
for example, theories in practice, global trend and ethic, becoming professional, discovering business or analysis and consultant. And all these courses are actually not academic or content, academic content um, uh, courses, but more about the skill to help you uh, to be ready for the, uh, for the employment market. So here again, uh, it's about the regular guest talk from industry leaders. So every uh, two weeks, we usually invite a very established industry leader coming to the university or to the business school to give a talk. And this is a great chance to interact with them and also to network with them as well. We have example here of uh, different uh, CEOs or uh, managers uh, in the industry to come. So this is just want to show you that how uh, global our degree is, that you have a great opportunities to move uh, around the world uh, from different campuses. So if you can take the year one that you can actually study in Edinburgh, in the year two, you can move to Dubai. And then in the year three, you can go to move to Malaysia and year four, you will come back to Edinburgh to do your degree. And I have to say that this is our real distinctive uh, feature or unique offer, which we have uh, to provide to students. So besides from the uh, uh, courses you can take or tutors you can actually rely on to for support, we also have a student's uh, success advisors. And you can actually see here that we have asked a student success advisor Daily student advice drop in section that you can actually come in and ask for the advice. They also hold a lot of events and activities to help students to succeed in their studies or to give guidance. Um, they also communicate regularly to provide a tip, advice and support, uh, especially at the crucial time of the year, like when you have to do your coursework, your exam and uh, when you got the result. So uh, that just show that we have really supportive system to help you with the study. So uh, this is an example of uh, one of our students uh, who studied a couple of years ago. Holly, she went to Malaysia on the third year and studied there. Uh, when she was there, she had an opportunity to interact with uh, international students, had an exposure to the culture. Uh, Why studying exactly the same courses she could uh, in, in Edinburgh? Then in the year four, Holly came back to Edinburgh and did her last year and then graduated. Now, in the fourth year, when she was at, um, at Harry Watt, she already applied for jobs and that uh, was supported through our professional service at university. She also uh, participated in the Kimberley Clark graduate scheme and join the Andrix marketing team later as a job. So at Andrix marketing, she was doing uh, managing projects, uh, managing brand social media account, UK e-commerce lead and managing the relationship with uh, charities. So this is a great example of how you can make the best of what we offer by staying in Edinburgh for a year, going abroad for a year, and then you also can uh, come back here and, and, and finish your degree and how you can actually take advantage of our supporting system for your, uh, for your job uh, application. So by now I have introduced you to the IBM degree structure, you understand different options, how you build your pathway for your specialization, whatever you choose, uh, the opportunities you have moving different campuses or going abroad to study and our available supporting system for your study and also to prepare you for the career. Now, at this point, you might start asking, so why any business school? Uh, why had what university and why do we, what do we stand out for? So um, to summarize and also to flag out as well, we're actually really proud of the four unique offer which, um, which we provide. So first thing is that is the international community. And I have explained that already as well. The option to move uh, across campuses to study, to go abroad to study with our partner universities. 
Um, we also have the uh, very great supporting system to help you with employment and provide you professional skill so that when you go to the job market, not only that you have the knowledge uh, of the business function, but you also have the skill ready for the job. You have really uh, hands on um, uh, care from the staff through a tutorial or through the tutoring system uh, where they can always provide you the support and help uh, and the student experience, uh, uh, which actually reflect through our NSS or National Student Survey is really uh, satisfactory uh, to ensure you that uh, students who have been here before have been really happy uh, with the program. So to summarize, uh, we are actually really proud to be very professional in what we're doing, uh, providing our frontier camp knowledge in combination with industry uh, relevant knowledge. We stay really connected to our community, to different universities in the world, and we stay truly global um, to fulfill our mission to provide tomorrow leader for tomorrow's market. Um, I really hope that you find the presentations relevant and especially if you would consider to study with us um, and maybe we'll welcome you uh, to our university very soon, um, probably at our campus uh, when everything is back to the normal. Um, thank you so much for listening and if you have any further questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us with the email following here, study with us at hw.ac.uk. Thank you again and really hope to see you again.